In this video, I'm about to be sharing with you one of the best short yardage dots in Madden 23, and it comes out of the Saints playbook. You can really kind of cross apply this uh, to pretty much any tight formation. If you want to get my entire Saints offensive ebook, we also have several other uh, compression sets uh, ebooks broken down in our Patreon. You get access to everything for 10 bucks. All of our ebooks, all of our updates to the ebooks, and any new ebooks we release while you are a member. So become a member today. The link is in the description. 10 bucks will get you access to literally everything uh, that we have over at the Patreon. Now, like I said, the play we're going to be taking a look at today is a very, very good short yards play. You can run out of PA seams. Uh, you run out of anything. It doesn't matter what play you are uh, wanting, to, wanting to use because it's all hot routes. So uh, the setup for this is fairly straightforward. All we're going to do is we're going to hitch both of these outside receivers, and then we are going to slant the left side receiver, and we're going to post uh, the right side receiver. So you see, this is what the play art is going to look like. And the slant post concept is really good. We know that it's one of the best concepts in the game for attacking man-to-man -man coverage. As you can see right there, super simple, super effective uh, for attacking man coverage. But the thing that you might not know about this play, just in terms of how the routes will work together, is that the hitch routes are two of the best routes in the game for sucking in zones. Uh, let me explain what I mean by that. So I'm going to go to cover two here. And again, we got the two hitches. We're gonna go with a slant and a post. And what you'll notice here is that the clouds, you see how they kind of suck inside of the hitch? And then you can throw these slants on the sideline literally all game long. It, it is super, super effective. Now, um, another thing that you can do that you can kind of pair uh, together with this is this running back streak. So what other things that you can also do is you can run the concept like this uh, let me go back to PA seams here for a second. Um, so we can go to the concept like this, where we have this out uh, breaking pattern to green, and that pattern also is going to go upfield. So this is more of like a, uh, not a red zone setup, but more of like a, a standard play art. And then we have the hitch, and then we have the post to Carmichael and the slant to Waller. So you see this is what the player looks like. Uh, if I run any kind of cloud coverage, it doesn't matter really what the coverage is. It doesn't matter what formation I run the coverage out of. Um, you're going to see that these clouds will basically suck inside and you can throw on the sidelines all day long. Okay, It's a great way to suck inside uh, these, these zones. One of my favorite things to do also, real quick, is to run this with my running back to the wide side of the field. And the reason you want to run this with your running back to the wide side of the field is because it's going to take advantage a little bit of this hitch. So if I'm over here in Tampa 2, and let's say we just kind of set up like a basic, uh, let's say we're setting up like a kind of a basic double flat coverage here, uh, where we have a hard flat and a cloud flat on both sides of the field. We have this uh, little ghost route. We're going to go with a slant post and hitch. So you see this is what the player looks like. What you'll notice is that this ghost um, the hard flat will not really play the ghost because that seam route is going out and then up and it opens up the space uh, for that running back to sit, you know, kind of underneath uh, against the coverage. So that's a great uh, little route uh, to take advantage of, especially in a drop eight uh, type of situation. If they're dropping eight people in coverage, um, that seam read or that uh, little wheel route to green, even especially if you motion them out is going to serve as like a really versatile route. The other thing is against cover two, you've got a chance to hit that over the top. Um, if they have a KO, that might be a little different story, uh, but you do have a chance to hit that over the top against like a cover two coverage. One of the other things that you're going to see a lot of, uh, especially right now, would be something like this, where we're going to double flat to one side of the field and they're going to have a yellow zone over in that pocket. And then they're going to, let's say they use or the slant route, uh, or apologize, the, the uh, post route. When you get something like this, um, this is a really good setup because again, the hitches, they just suck inside these, these uh, clouds. So you see on the left side there, look how open that slant is over the top of that cloud in a really soft spot against a really, really good defense. Now, this concept is also arguably the most effective short yardage, like goal line passing concept uh, in the game. And there's multiple ways to run the play, but the play, um, but the way that I like to run this play and, and typically, like, it, it really doesn't matter the adjustments they make. Like, if they man up, let's say, for example, they man up the hitches. I think that's one of the better ways to play it. Um, but anyway, it's the same exact setup. So uh, we're going to do two hitches. One of the players is going to be on a post. One of the players is going to be on a slant. Uh, is the way I like to do it, especially down here. And what you'll notice is that post will kind of get in that back pocket uh, super, super effective. Okay? Now, 
the other thing real quick on this specifically as it pertains um specifically as it pertains to the goal line is when you're going uh when you're running this in the goal line i would really recommend running the post to the running back side and the reason why like from the from the opposite side of the running back to the running back side the reason why i want to do that is because i really think you should have a flat um because what you'll see with this post is if they let's say they run cover two that flat will kind of like essentially sit on the sideline and can suck in that cloud as well on that side now again if we come back here to replay you're going to notice that my slant is open all day long here on the side Eh, that one actually that open part of this is hash marks too like i noticed that like if it's a hash mark if the ball is on a specific hash mark the zone uh the cloud flat specifically will play differently so what you should see here you know you can run it like this too if you wanted to um but what you'll see is now the cloud really sucks in on that short side so the short side cloud really sucks inside the wide side cloud doesn't suck inside as much and so that's where like having a having a flat and a ghost and a post i think can be really helpful because now if it's not cover two like if it's if it's like cover four or something um that's one thing most people want to run cover three to the wide side of the field and they want to run cover two to the short side of the field so this concept alone is really good for attacking that because you'll see that cloud will just suck inside every single time and i can throw the slant over here just like that every single time um and it doesn't matter if it's on the five yard line, on the 10 yard line, it doesn't matter where you're at on the field. But the other thing that I wanna quickly point out is most people like to run a roll coverage of some type that looks kinda like this, and maybe they even have the running back cross man. This is pretty decent, uh, a pretty decent way to defend this. However, let's say that you're running this and you have that post, and then you have the uh, flat route to AJ Green. What you'll notice if you have this flat route to AJ Green is he'll pull that third out, and then I can throw into that little pocket right there this is one of the best short yardage plays in madden because it's consistency against man and zone also but when you start to understand that short side hitches in their relationship to the cloud flat it will take this concept and it will make it 10 times more effective thanks for watching the video and if you want to get my entire saints offensive ebook head down to the description below and go join the patreon for just 10 bucks